Hello everybody. In this AI revolution, there are two types of companies that are emerging. One, which are saying that we will be AI first. And second, companies which are doing these things in a very ad hoc way. And this resembles very much how we as individuals also prepare ourselves for any new upcoming technology and how we mold our careers itself. In this video, we'll talk surprising it is how companies are shaping themselves for these new age technologies and what are some of the learnings for you and me as well and how we can be an AI first individual in our careers. Let's look at our sponsor for the video, Odin School's instructor-led live six month bootcamp. In this bootcamp, you will learn from the basics of data science to the advanced AI topics under the expert guidance of industry mentors. This is not just about theoretical learning, but you will actually do 10 plus industry projects. If you go through the success stories, you will realize that a lot of folks used this bootcamp experience to launch their career in data science or even transition into data science. Once you complete this six month program, you will be eligible to apply for their five 500 plus hiring partners. The placement support will continue for two years where you will be having a lot of mock interview sessions, behavioral sessions and so on. Go ahead and apply for the program using the link in the description box. The bootcamp is priced at 75,000 rupees but there are EMI options and also early bird offers going on right now. So the first point for any organization is straightforward. What do they care about? Two things. Number one, how to increase the revenues and two, how to decrease costs. End of the day, all the things that any organization does falls under these two buckets. If we look at an IT services company and if we specifically check the cost bucket, where do the costs come from? For any IT services company, there are two angles. One, they sell and then they deliver. So sales and delivery, again, no rocket science behind what happens in any of these organizations. You just have to go a little bit deeper and deeper and deeper into the fundamentals. And they are just trying to see if AI can improve their deliveries and also help them do selling in a better way. And what does delivery mean? Delivery again means three things. Number one, writing good piece of code, testing that piece of code, and also documenting the work that's being done. And all these three things now are being done with the support of co-pilots. These co-pilots assistants are coming and they are helping the individuals become more efficient. In other words, they call it as productivity gains. And productivity gains are important for the company again for simple reason that the same work can be done by 100 people instead of 200 people. So the costs go down. So whether you go deep into the problem and try to understand it, or if you look at it from 10,000 feet, very high level problem, it comes down to the same thing that they are reducing costs by increasing productivity of employees. Now, how are they increasing the sales capacity of the teams? How are they improving their selling capacity? Again, the traditional problem is there is some senior director who is sitting somewhere in the US, UK, and this person has all the information and knowledge with respect to the organization, how the organization performs, their technical capabilities, and how they want to pitch to different clients. Now, what they are doing is, again, they are creating these knowledge repositories and adding a layer of generative AI like ChatGPT so that this knowledge is at the fingertips of individuals, even the employees who are just getting started in their sales, so that they don't need to go through multiple iterations for these sales documents. Hence, obviously, they can pitch more and they can pitch also efficiently. They can do go ahead and sell for multiple clients. This is how they are trying to increase their efficiencies and speeds, thereby reducing the costs in every single possible way. Now, again, there are two, three ways in which you can do it. Be ad hoc in every single thing that you do or do this in a very strategic way so that the processes are streamlined. If you are looking into those fundamental process and streamlining stuff, that is when you become an AI first individual as well. I'm sorry, not just AI first individual by yourself, but also AI first company. That is the thing that we need to learn from these organizations. How can we in our career try to mold these AI learnings in such a way that we are not going and doing a course randomly in an ad hoc way? Can we take these courses and make sure that 
we are upskilling in the right direction whether it's a domain whether it's an industry whether it's a function and leverage that slowly in our career these are long term bets nobody knows how this technology is going to evolve what we are speaking is only strategic in direction and once we get started on the direction it will help us now moving on to the second part which is how are these organizations improving their revenues we did cover the costs but if you look at the revenues again no organization is ready to put in a lot of money because it is still not very clear if the use cases coming from these new age technologies will have a very good profitability attached to it that is the reason why clients for companies like infosys tcs wipro the clients themselves are not very sure the clients have multiple other competing priorities the clients want to keep this data within their boundaries data security is a huge thing and finally these companies also don't want to invest too much in the technologies that are unproven so what is the leap that companies like infosys can do they are trying to evaluate what is the appetite for ai in their clients at the same time they are not promising that hey we will build a chat gpt like model for you we will rather take existing chat gpt llama these kind of models and fine tune them based on your exact data and that is what the microsoft copilots or any other copilots are also promising we will take data from your emails we will take data from your internal repositories and we will just keep it within your own boundary walls so that it is cost efficient and also time efficient you can test a lot of use cases very fast and that is how these guys are trying to improvise on their revenues right now again companies which are doing it in a ad hoc way do not know which direction they will go but companies which are trying to fundamentally alter their own processes they are calling themselves that we are ai first company and they will have an advantage because in the long run they can capture that exponential impact even for you at an individual capacity for you to capture that compounding effect in your career there are two three things number one make sure that you are also getting on this bandwagon of ai for the simple reason that this is going to be the leverage for you going forward also it is not just about ai but make sure you yourself are improving and developing some of these most important skills which is analytical thinking and problem solving these are the money skills guys over the next few decades ai problem solving analytical thinking now on the problem solving side if you are interested i would highly highly recommend please go check out the youtube community page on this channel itself i run on a daily basis free problem solving challenges that you can go ahead spend some time on think about it not more than 5 minutes and write down your answer i will share my perspective or somewhat close to an ideal answer in a few hours time and that would help you improve on your critical thinking and problem solving skills as well do let me know if you have any questions regarding these things and i'll try my best to answer them in the comment section thank you again and see you in the next one bye bye